What is good, you guys? This is Steven with All Talk On, and today we're just going to go over a little bit of a quick thing on where I've been for the last three weeks, I guess, and um, tell you guys what's going on and some future videos that are going to come up, kind of like another update to the All Talk On, because um, honestly, I don't have too much material to do. I mean, I do have a few things I could throw up, but I don't want to rush them, and I want to make sure they're done right, and because I have so many things that I'm trying to gather at the same time, um, I'm not trying to, uh, like I said, rush it. And I already am kind of very busy with all this stuff. So right here we have two computers. Um, we have the DIY case that I just built the $280 computer in. But I bought it in white to try again for another build. And then we also have this Aza, um, um, what was that, ITX case. Um, so I bought both these cases because I am building two more computers. I have some friends that want some computers. So they came to me because I build computers. So... Um, inside this one, we'll go over a full parts list in the future, but we have an i3, which is actually right here. So, um, that's going to go in there soon. Um, but I'm waiting for a few more parts, which is why I also can't start the videos for these, but I've already gotten started on these computers because I got a few parts in. So this one will be having a 270X as well as an i3 and a 500 watt power supply, 120 gig SSD, and a one terabyte hard drive, your standard gaming stuff. Um, and this one will be getting a R9 280, um, an i5 gaming, uh, SSD and all that stuff, same thing for gaming, you know what I mean? So um, they're, they're both gonna be moderately good PCs. Now this one only cost a total out of pocket and a lot of this stuff was bought brand new, so it was $530. And this one, was uh, 520 not counting having to buy a power supply a hard drive um, or a RAM they, they already had RAM power supply and a hard drive that they wanted to use so all I had to do was get an SSD and the other things like power or not power supply but graphics card motherboard and for the motherboard that's one of the few things I have gotten in um, I picked up one of these it's a uh, it was on sale for $60 59.99 now it's back up to about $80 but uh, this is a C CSM, CSM, MSI motherboard. Um, I bought it because it looks good. It's got four RAM slots, good features on it, like a, and it's a sturdy motherboard. As you guys can see, we have the corporate stable model. So it's, it's supposed to be stable. I'm not supposed to run into the issues. And uh, that's a good thing because this computer is going to Washington and uh, I don't want it back. I want to send it and I want everything to be squared away and I want it to work. For years, so I went with something like this. Um, not, I'm normally an Asus fan, so it's not like I'm dogging on Asus or nothing. Just this was on sale, so and it's business class motherboard that is made to not have issues, which is what I want because um, they're not the most tech savvy, and that's why I'm building their computer in the first place. So it'd be nice to make sure that they don't have any problems. So an i5 and a 280 is going to game pretty good it's definitely going to be a, a max out most 99 percent of 1080p game uh system uh but this one on the other hand oh my hand just like went all over the place this one will be probably like a medium to high settings depending on the game um and i know that a lot of people think why don't you get the pentium g um i don't really like giving people pentium g's when i build their computers because i don't like the chances of instabilities I'm the one who overclocks it, which means if something's not right and if the computer gets shipped off somewhere, uh, I can't really do much. And walking someone over an overclock on the phone is not fun. Um, so I like to make sure it's something stable. Not to mention, even at 4.7 gigahertz, the i3 still beats out the Pentium G for reasons that I'm not really too sure about. But just the way the i3 is, um, it just does it. So it, it was a, a nicer deal, not to mention I was able to pick up an i3 and the i5 for 200 and, uh, 220 bucks for both of them, which is a good deal. This one is the, it's a 4130 and then the i5 is a 4460. Um, so they're not bad processors. The i5 will handle anything you can throw at it when it comes to gaming. They're definitely one of the top notch gaming P, uh, CPUs out there. Um, of course you can get an i7, but that's not completely aimed towards gaming like the i5 would be. Um, the i7 is kind of just overpriced and the two frames difference that you might get by getting an i7, I mean, and it's up to you if it's worth the uh, hundred and something dollar price tag. Um, but either way, these computers will be done. No names. I, I, I'll try and think of something, but uh, not too sure I have a name for them. But um, overall, I just want to give you guys an update, and that's what's uh, happening now. Also, Codename Bubblegum is done. 
it is complete. Yay. So if you guys want to see pictures of it, go to my Twitter. There's several pictures up there. If you want more, just let me know. I'll post more pictures. Um, but I don't really feel like doing any more videos on it, and it's already it's already going. It's gone. So um, I can't technically make new videos on it. But either way, um, it's done, finally, thankfully. Um, I did have a fan issue with it for the graphics card. One of the fans decided that it would sometimes not spin. 99% of the time it would spin, but randomly it just wouldn't. And I'd have to flick at it, and then it would start spinning. But uh, that's something that I don't want this person that has this computer to have to deal with, so I did have to buy replacement fans. Why it did that, I don't know. It could have been on its way out, because the graphics card in that system was from a bit mining machine. Um, and one thing with bit mining is it tears up GPU fans like no other, because um, they'll be running at 70 degrees, you know, 50 to 100% fan speed for days at a time so that's probably what happened with it was it was on its way out because of that but a set of fans cost me 20 bucks they're already you know it's already been fixed and everything's good now so um yeah updates um hmm i put them way over there i bought a, a pair of uh logitech headsets um i use these these are like some cheap Air Force uh, Turtle Beaches, and these are like the most comfortable things I've ever had. I just got that Logitech headset, which was on sale for uh, 80, but normally runs for like 100. And uh, this is way comfortable. I'm still wearing these. Um, not to mention, I like the open, uh, open ear, like the open back. Um, I don't like feeling like I'm in like in an ocean when I'm wearing headsets. I like. There. I like to be able to hear through them so that's like a personal preference for me and that's one of the reasons but the main reason I didn't like it was it was heavier than this this is like the lightest headset too um, it was heavier than this the sound quality wasn't really any better I really couldn't see the difference um, and these are just way 10 times 20 times more comfortable I can literally wear these for hours without breaking a sweat so um, I like these headsets um, so I, I probably won't even do a review on it because I don't really care for it and I'm not a headphone guy so yeah I'm more of a kind of get toys and play with them and then record myself playing with them to show other people but um yeah that's uh, the two gaming PCs that I've started out anyways you guys keep an eye out in the future the videos um, on these will be coming out I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a review on both of these cases um, this one was $59.99 this one was $39.99 both had free shipping um, so we'll do a review on these cases. Not gonna lie, this case for sixty dollars is a little disappointing at some parts. Uh, some parts, I mean ports. Um, like one of the main things, uh, no mount for an SSD. Uh, I've never seen a case that didn't have that. Um, like any half decent case that didn't have that. So I was really sad to get this in and have to figure out where I was gonna mount an SSD because the hard drives doesn't. There's no sleds, and you would basically have to get those. Uh, you know, the 3.5 inch sleds, but Normally, any um, looking to see if I have any hard drive sleds laying around. Normally, any hard drive sled will have uh, stuff stuck to them. Why is that sticky? Oh, it's got tape on it. Um, normally, you'll see they have the four mounts right here for your SSD um, to do, but that has no hard drive sleds. So you would basically need um, your own type. I mean, some SSDs come with them, but the ones I got, I got two SanDisk SSDs, and they didn't come with them. So um, I, I had to figure out where to mount it. So like I said, this case was a little disappointing. No reset button. Um, power button's kind of uh, there. You have to push back on it, not down on it. It's, it's weird, um, but it is cool. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, and that's, like I said, things will go over in the review. And, of course, this case, which I'm still amazed by, and which is why I purchased it in white. Um, the white actually leaves uh, less fingerprints or anything. So if you're looking for an extreme budget case for a micro ATX single GPU setup uh, gaming PC, so any moderate to moderately high-end PCs, this is the case I would get. saves a lot of money, and it has a decent amount of features that... Uh, that you could work with like for instance the LED power on and off one which are hooked up to the fans but to say you take these fans out and you hook up some cold cathodes to that uh, switch right here you'd be able to turn the LEDs on and off by the top with a built-in switch you wouldn't have to make your own or reach in the back to the PCI slot so things like that make this case awesome for its price and it looks even better in white attracts way less dust and fingerprints when it looks like this at least you can't see it 
So, um, yeah, I'll probably do reviews on both those cases. I'm just waiting for the extra parts so I can show you guys what the builds look like inside them, um, my experiences with putting stuff in them, because um, I haven't fully got to build this one yet. I'm still waiting on the motherboard and RAM. Uh, but we'll, we'll get into that sooner or later. Well, anyways, you guys, this is Steven with All Talk On, and I'll catch you guys later.